Hi everyone, I'm Shannon and welcome to today's video. So as you can see, I have no makeup on and it's not because I'm doing anything makeup related. It's because I just worked out, about to take a shower and I'm about to use this Gussie Hair at Home Keratin Treatment. Gussie Hair um, gifted me this at home keratin treatment. So I'm about to try it out. Now I have done keratin treatments before. I've done them in the salon and I've also done them at home. And I really enjoy them, especially when, um, you know, especially going on a cruise or going on vacation or going to Disney World. And also I live in South Florida. I have frizzy hair. So I'm gonna insert a picture right here. This is me with freshly washed hair, blown dry, no product in it. I have frizzy hair. Now I can straighten it. I can put product in it to smooth it out, to seal it. And you know, when I'm on camera, I usually have, you know, styled hair or if I curl it now um, but it's I it takes a lot of work to have my hair hold the curl and also not have frizz so I'm really anxious this because I have done keratin treatments before but they've always had formaldehyde this is a formaldehyde free version um, of a keratin treatment and again it's at home and then it also states six weeks of frizz free hair in five easy steps so i really like that it states that you you can do all of these steps in an hour so i'm going to see i'm going to be taking a shower but i'm going to be doing the processes you know the, the steps and see how long it takes me now i have pretty long hair my hair is pretty straight right now because i did straighten it um but i'm probably going on day five of not washing it which is pretty typical and I'm really kind of curious as to how easy the steps are how long is it actually going to take me especially with long hair and then what the results are like uh, I'm really we're leaving on the Disney wish three weeks from when I'm recording this so very excited about that be interested to see if it lasts and one of the things they also talk about is that it will leave your hair with frizz free however if you have curls you have waves that's not going it's not going to straighten your hair it's just going to take away the frizz and one of the things I've noticed when I've done keratin is that I can't hold a curl like it, it I can curl my hair and it falls you know within an hour or two so that's one of the reasons why I don't like doing keratin sometimes because my hair won't hold a curl so I'm really curious as if this one will allow my hair to hold a curl and then also how it will feel and then how it compares this is $65 so it's $65 um, you can do it on at home and you know the keratin treatments I've done before are a lot more expensive and it's not so much the expense it's obviously that's a big part of it because keratin treatments can be expensive however they're time consuming and then the fumes so really curious to see if this one doesn't have the fumes I haven't really seen anything of it but let me go ahead and open the box and show you what's inside okay so inside there are just basically two products so this is the squeaky clean priming shampoo and then this is the smooth operator keratin treatment and that's it just two two products and the steps are the first step is going to be to wash and you're going to wash your hair twice with squeaky clean priming shampoo to prep it for treatment and do not condition at this time so that's typical of every other one it's usually like a clarifying um, shampoo and it tends to make your hair um, really dry almost feeling it, it almost feels like that is squeaky clean. I have noticed that in the past because it is a clarifying shampoo. So that's it for the shampoo. Now the next step is number two and that is to treat. So you're gonna section your hair into four to six parts shake smooth operator keratin treatment well then spray each section six to eight inches away from hair root to tip taking care not to get any in your eyes. <laughs> nope. Um, that makes sense. Refer to the chart below for the amount of product you need. And that's one of the things I saw is that a lot of people said that this um, could be, you know, they could get two treatments out of this. I don't know, I have a lot of hair. Um, I'm going to try and get that I'm gonna try and use half of it to see if that will get me a good treatment. Um, we'll see how long. So I do have long hair and um, it could be where I'm going to need a lot more. But, um, and then it says basically saturate your hair completely with Gussie, use additional sprays per section if you don't see um, foam appear okay and then after you've applied the keratin treatment comb through all sections and let process for 15 to 20 minutes and that's it so that is step two Okay, step three is to rinse. So you're going to um, rinse when 20 minutes are up. Now you're gonna hop in the shower and lightly rinse your hair and scalp for approximately 30 seconds. So that's something different that before, you know, you put the keratin on your hair. And I know with the, with the ones I've done before, I had to dry my hair 
then put the keratin in and then blow dry it again and then use the straight iron. So this is a, you know, a lot different, so a lot less steps. And I like that. Um, and then you want to make sure your hair feels if this, there's some slickness to it from the residual products, similar to how it feels after you've applied a leave-in conditioner. And it says, again, do not use conditioner at this time. Now, step four is to dry, towel dry, and then blow dry your hair completely on medium heat. And it says to use a round brush with tension on the hair to smooth it out. Hair must be 100% dry in order to ensure the treatment will be properly locked in. If hair emits steam when you begin to flat iron, it is still damp at the core and will need to be blow dried more. So that's very important that it needs to be 100% dry. I know I've done that in the past, not with a keratin treatment, but you know, you, when you blow, you, you get it almost like maybe 95% dry and then you start flat, uh, flat iron it and you, you know it's, there's a little steam coming out so you know it's not completely dry. And then step five is to lock it in. So it says wipe down your flat iron, making sure that there's no residual product on it. Flat iron hair from 360 degrees to 410 degrees. And there's actually a little chart here which tells you like your the, the coarseness of your hair, of what the temperature should be. And I will say, usually keratin treatments, I've seen them, it has to be 450 degrees. So this is a lot less. It only goes up to 410 degrees. And then um, basically uh, in one and a half or half inch to one inch sections to lock in the treatment. This will part your, this part will require at least three to four passes for each um, half to one inch section to get the smooth result you want. Don't rush here. Take your time with each pass to ensure the treatment is locked in and as smooth as possible. And it says note that this step is important to lock in the treatment but will not permanently straighten your hair. Your wave or curls will return minus the frizz right after you shower. So I'm um, really excited about this. Again, I, I'm you know, anxious to try it out, see how it works. And again, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll last for the cruise. If not, if I don't use the whole product, I might use it right before we leave um, to, to the Disney Wish Cruise. Okay, so that is all five steps. And then it says style however you like and enjoy shiny, frizzy, free hair for up to six weeks. Again, up to six weeks. I will say in the past, even with a, a um, salon keratin treatment, it never lasts six to eight weeks. It usually is really good the first two to three weeks, and then it's good, you know, for like three to six weeks. But I've never had one, like even the one I've spent way too much money on. So I'm expecting this to kind of help my hair. Um, we'll see how it works. But I would say good two to three weeks is when you get a good treatment. Um, and typically I would do this right before vacation. Uh, and then um, I did, I remember doing a similar treatment with my hair right before Mrs. America because I wanted it to be able to curl, but I just wanted to take away the frizz and it, it worked that way. So we'll see how long it lasts. It's, but again, it says up to six weeks, not it will last for six weeks, you know, important information. Um, and it says no need to wait. You can immediately following your treatment, you're free to work out, wash your hair, braid your hair, color your hair, curl it or whatever. So I like that because if you've ever done another keratin treatment, you have to wait 24 to 72 hours to wash your hair. You can't can't pull it back you can't you know anything so I like this you know it's really fast hopefully it will be fast so I'm gonna go let's get good started so it's exactly 5 30 and I'm about to do the shampoo okay so I just finished washing my hair did do it twice the first time it um it didn't feel it didn't really lather and then I got a lot of I had a lot of dry shampoo in there so um, definitely need to do it twice. I definitely feel it getting cleaner with the um, second wash. So definitely do it twice. I'm trying and skimp on that step. Um, now I'm going to go in with the keratin treatment where I'm going to break it up. Um, I got to look and see what time it is. Okay, so it's 5.50, um, took a long shower. And I'm gonna get a step, I'm gonna let my hair dry a little bit because it is really wet. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit naturally before I start going in with this. Um, I have a lot of hair, so this, this whole step is not going to, this whole thing is not gonna take an hour. Definitely not gonna take an hour. It's probably gonna take two, we'll see. Um, but also I'm not trying to rush either. So I just finished the treatment and all I can say is so easy. So easy than any other treatment I've ever done. 10 minutes and that's with me trying to film so really really easy um i'm not even sure if i use enough product because it says supposed to be i feel like i've covered my hair and it still feels like they're at least a half a bottle 
And like I said, I do have long hair, but my hair, I have a lot of hair, but it's fine. So I don't know, um, but it would took about 10 to 12 minutes and that's with me trying to film. So right now I didn't have to dry my hair before putting it on and it was very easy um, to put on. So right now I'm loving it. Okay, so 20 minutes are up. I'm gonna go rinse this out. Okay, so I just blew dry my hair and it says to use a round brush. I don't have a round brush, but I used this and this worked great. So I did blow it dry first, mostly with my Dyson. And then I used that to kind of finish it up. And I will tell you, not using any products um, to make my hair smooth, it's already taken a lot of the frizz away. Like my hair is never this smooth after I blow it dry. So I still need to do the straightener um, portion, but my hair, it's, it's dry so but it feels really really silky smooth and if you can see the back of my hair it's already really smooth and if you compare it to that picture that i showed earlier um or i'll put it right now of my hair how it was frizzy it's already like really smooth okay i just finished uh straightening my hair super fast and it is i mean it is so silky smooth. So I'm gonna put some makeup on and then I'm gonna do kind of a recap. And it took um, pretty much exactly two hours, but I took a lot of breaks. Okay, so I am back, I have makeup on again. And I have to say, I am very, very impressed with this at-home keratin treatment. So um, I actually had put on a kind of headband while I put my makeup on. And typically when I do that, when I take it off, I have to kind of redo this part here because it kind of is like this. I took it off, I didn't touch it at all. I just brushed it and that was it. Um, I don't know if you can see how just, if you can tell, I, I mean, I can tell it. It's it's so sleek. It just feels very um, soft, sleek, and very, very manageable. So let me walk through, kind of recap what happened with each step and my thoughts on each step. Okay, so first up, the shampoo, you wash it twice, okay? I mean, pretty self-explanatory. I will say the first time I washed with, um, the first time it, it didn't lather, it didn't really get foamy. Um, and then I rinsed it out, but I did have a lot of dry shampoo in my hair because I do like, I think I've been like five or six days since I had washed my hair. So, um, I think it kind of got, got that gunk out and then it didn't really feel kind of that, that if you've ever done a clarifying shampoo, you know what I'm talking about. It didn't really feel like that after the first wash. After the second wash, it started to lather. It started to like, you know, I guess lather. And I, it did feel like that squeaky clean, if you know what I mean. Like that's what, well, I guess this is what it's called. It's called squeaky clean. So that's kind of what a clarifying shampoo does. And it felt like that. Now it didn't feel as dry as when I've used a clarifying shampoo for a keratin treatment. That usually, um, it was a, it's always a little harder to kind of brush my hair but with those types it's really really hard has a lot of sulfates this one doesn't I don't know I don't I it does have sulfate but it doesn't have parabens um, you know pleasant scent very minimal scent so you know very pleasant not overpowering but definitely do too definitely felt but it wasn't it it was tough because obviously I didn't have conditioner in my hair but very very easy to use and um, just I felt it working Okay, so the second step is to treat. And the one thing that is different from when I've done other keratin treatments is I didn't have to dry my hair. Before, I'd always had to dry my hair before I put in the treatment. This, you didn't. No, I did towel dry it a little bit. I did leave it, you know, kind of to dry a little bit. But then I put this in, and this was so easy. I mean, I did this in, I want to say it was about 12 minutes, but I was also trying to film. So it, I could probably have done it very, very fast and really really easy now it says to saturate your hair i felt it saturated and at first i wasn't really sure if i use a new enough product because i think i used about half of this bottle um now that i have used it and i have done it i feel like i did use enough product but at first i wasn't sure if i did but i thought okay you know what um let's just try it and but i felt like it was saturated but i wasn't sure if that was because it was already wet but definitely use enough product and um, really super easy. So you do this, you put it in your hair and then you let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. I let it sit for the full 20 minutes before I rinsed it out. And that leads me to step three, where you rinse it out for 30 seconds. And I went in the shower and I just kind of pulled my hair back like this to kind of not let the, the 
treatment get on you know my body but I just kind of pulled it back like that and let it come out and I think I even did it maybe a little too long that was another concern well maybe I felt like it did say it, it needs to feel like a slickness to it I felt some slickness but I think I might have done it a little too long so but again I feel like it worked okay now the fourth step is to dry it so I what I did is I let it dry a little bit doing things with my son getting my son bathe um, so I blew it dry with my Dyson supersonic hair dryer and then I went in because it says to dry it with a round brush so then I went in with the the bay the foxy bay um, you know round brush uh, dryer and I used that to kind of do it at the end so I got for the most part like just so it was 95% dry with the supersonic with the Dyson and then I went in with the foxy bay and I will say it was super fast like I felt like it definitely was drying my hair faster and it was smoother it was definitely smoother now it wasn't as smooth as it is right now before I went in with the with the straightener but um, and I made sure it was had to be a hundred percent dry and I made sure I went over it a couple times especially with the foxy bay and um, but I I definitely felt that it was sleeker than without using any products than it was if you know typically so it was already I could already tell it was sleeker than it would normally be and then step five is to lock it in with a hair straightener now my straightener is from GHD and it doesn't have a temperature so it's just I think it's the max is 410 so that's what I used it on because it's just one temperature so um I am loving it now it was so fast and that's the thing with um, going with a regular keratin treatment I always felt like it took a long time this was so fast because my hair was already dry and then as I'm doing it there was no fumes there was no smell it was just I did a couple of passes on each one just to make sure I locked it in but I mean one pass was literally locking it in it was really incredible and again just what I said so there's no fumes there's no formaldehyde when I've ever done the at-home treatments by myself um, I have to I have one bathroom that has a door to the backyard I have to open that door and then I have the fan on in the bathroom to kind of circulate the air but my eyes water and that's the whole thing is that's the reason why one of the reasons why I hate doing it. it takes me several hours to do and then also the fumes I have to do it on a day where like my son is at school or you know not in the house because I don't want him in the house with the fumes and you know if something is making your eyes water and hard for you to breathe what is it doing to you right so I love the fact that this is um, one it's just so much faster and without the harsh chemicals without the harsh fumes so I am hooked now even I am really not going to be able to tell the result until after I wash my hair a couple times you know right now obviously it looks great but I just put it in I feel like this is what my hair would look like after I've washed my hair after the keratin treatment. So put the keratin treatment, usually you have to leave it on for 72 hours before you wash. You can't pull your hair back, you can't do anything. That's not the case. The product's already out of the hair. You've just done it so you can do whatever you want. Um, but you know, you still have that product in your hair typically with the keratin. So when you wash it, that's when you kind of see the result. I feel like that's where I'm at right now. So the true test for this product for me will be what does it feel like after I wash it one, two or three times? That's going to be where is it as good as, you know, the at home keratin treatments I've done myself or a salon keratin treatment, even if it's not as good, but it's close to as good. I'm sold because it's so much easier. It doesn't have the harsh chemicals and I'm I'm completely, completely hooked. It was so easy. Like I could totally do this the night before we leave to Disney or tonight before we leave to a cruise because I did it from start to finish from when I started to get into the shower to when I finished completely it was almost exactly two hours that was also with bathing my son eating dinner myself um, doing my helping my son with his tutoring homework because he has tutoring homework so doing all of those things in between uh, it still took me two hours so totally am hooked now this stuff is $65 I did say I was gifted by Gussie hair so thank you very much for sending this to me um, but it's these two products here it's $65 totally worth it I just checked on their website and if you go to their website if you join their mailing list you will get um, I think 15% off 15% off so that will bring you to probably to about um, maybe 5750 so really really great product um, I am sold so if you have a Disney trip you're going somewhere humid a cruise anything 
definitely look into this. I don't have a promo code, unfortunately, but like I said, if you do join their mailing list and um, you can get 15%. And then if I see any you know, promos or anything, I will definitely put it in my community tab um, because again, I think these this is awesome. So check this out, Gussie Hair at Home Keratin Treatment. There's also a shampoo and conditioner. Um, typically when you do a keratin treatment, you want to use sulfate-free shampoo. I use sulfate-free sulfate shampoo anyway um, because I just think it's better for your hair, but you definitely, the sulfates will take it, take the keratin out of your hair. So um, with that, highly recommend. So I will give an update on what I think of it in my um, June favorite. So my June favorites are usually posted, uh, uploaded beginning of July. So I will be doing an update on what I think of it in my um, June favorites to kind of see, okay, what was the, what it was it like the first or second, uh, after the first or second wash. So, you know, definitely subscribe so that you can get a follow up. But right now, I'm really loving it. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.